Hey, so hopefully I can do this all in one take. I'm waiting for some water to boil. Um, making some pastas for dinner, but yeah, let's see if I can do this all in one take. I'm still gonna edit it, but so it might still be done, but don't want to take more than one video. Anyways, I've been telling myself I'm gonna make a video about my hair for a while. Um, so this channel is called The Dreaded Katie, and so many of my usernames are The Dreaded Katie because I started them when I had dreadlocks and I thought it was a cute little username name. Um, I thought it was good because it could be like viewed as a pirate. So now I'm just kind of like only pirate, not dreaded hair. Um, but yeah, so in beginning of August, well it was the end of July, beginning of August, that I kind of just decided that I didn't know if I wanted dreads anymore for a bit. Um, for multiple reasons. One, my neck was constantly in pain, um, just because they were so heavy and I'd always wear them up, because I'd get too hot when they were down. Because um, I'd wear them up a bit less in the winter time, but summertime for sure. And then also though, in the winter time, Vancouver is like constantly raining almost, like, and so I'd either have to always just be like bundled up trying to avoid getting my dreads wet, which like I often did that, or I'd just have to like blow dry my hair a bunch after they got wet, or else because if you leave dreads wet for too long and keep continuously getting them wet before they completely dry, they're going to get moldy. <laughs> um, it's what it is. So that was a bit of a hassle. Um, and also, I don't know, I was having dinner with my friend Stephen once, um, like a bit before I did this, and I just kind of, I told him like, I always, like for me, the, the, po the part that like, I'd get up in the morning and I'd be like, ugh. I look gross, but at least my hair looks good, and, um, you know, like, I, I kind of, like, identified as my hair, almost, like, you know, I was that girl with dreads all the time, and I kind of relied on them for social interactions, like, people would just, people have started so many conversations with me because of my dreads when I had them, like, they'd walk up, be like, oh, cool hair, or like, hey, can I, can I feel them, is that weird, stuff like that, and, um, I loved it, like, because I'm not... I can be a pretty shy person when it comes to strangers that I don't know, um, and having something like that to break the barrier a bit, like, I love when people come to talk to me. And now that I don't have dreads, like, and before I got rid of them, I was kind of worried. I was like, you know, I'm just going to be just Katie, I'm just going to be regular like everybody else, which isn't like a bad thing, but, but I just got so used to relying on my hair to start social interaction. And I just felt like I'd be like a lot less interesting of a person without them, and you know that like people would not want to talk to me as much, including my friends, which is kind of stupid. And Stephen kind of just told me he was like, "Hey, you know, like we don't, as friends, like you're as your friends, we don't like you because of your hair. We like you because you're a cool person, and um, like, you're not going to be less interesting without them." And then he was like saying that he thinks it would almost be like a good exercise of self-discovery for me then to, you know, get rid of my dreads and um, be able to like be just Katie instead of being like relying on my dreads for all these social interactions and stuff, if that makes sense. He kind of worded it differently, I think, but that was basically what he did. And then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, yeah, you know, he's totally right. And like I can always just grow, the, grow my hair back and re-dread it. That's what I've decided. Like, I probably will again one day, but you know, for now, I just I have this. Um, it's kind of curlyish, and I'm pretty happy with that. Or like wavy, whatever the word is. It's not like super small ringlets, but I don't know. I'm pretty happy with my hair right now. Although every time I see a person with dreadlocks, I get really sad. I miss that look, like, when you have dreads and somebody else has dreads and you, like, see each other on the streets, kind of, like, give each other a little look of acknowledgement, like, hey, you have dreads, I have dreads, we're both cool. Um, and now, like, I see people with dreads and I'm like, hey, they have dreads and I don't. And that's a bit sad. But you know what? One day, one day I'm going to have dreads again and it'll be good. And for now, I'm just Katie. But I'm keeping the username because basically a pirate, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, my water's boiling. Perfect amount of time.